This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. Caught on camera, Broward deputies are searching for a man with a sword who attacked another man in Oakland Park. The victim's home surveillance camera captured a portion of the attack that happened back in July. He says a man with a sword began chasing him because he took a small cart from a junk pile that the attacker wanted for himself. The attack stopped after the victim pointed out the camera. I was shocked. I couldn't believe that he was going to really try to kill me for a cart. A woman appeared at some point during the attack and walked away with the card. If you recognize her or the man with the sword, you're asked to call Broward Crime Stoppers at 954-493-TIPS. Broward County prosecutors are making major changes to the way they handle misdemeanor marijuana cases. Prosecutors said police will need a threshold of at least three grams of marijuana to bring a case. The state attorney's office said they are also recommending that these misdemeanor marijuana cases be handled through a diversion program. Last week, prosecutors in Miami-Dade announced they will no longer prosecute misdemeanor marijuana cases of 20 grams or less. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez tells CBS 4 News contamination underground at the Mel Reese Golf Course is far worse than previously thought. That's where David Beckham and Jorge Moss want to build a major league soccer stadium. The arsenic levels are more than twice what is allowed by law. Barium and lead levels are also too high and there is debris in the soil that could cause physical hazards. Mayor Suarez says most recent estimate for a proper cleaning of the site is at $50 million. Law enforcement from agencies across Miami-Dade County joined forces with the group Community Against Youth Violence to talk strategies to enforce a teenage curfew. An ordinance currently prohibits teens under 17 from being out after 11 p.m. Sunday through Thursday at midnight on Friday and Saturday unless they have an exception. Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez stressed enforcing the curfew as a way to drive down youth crime and violence. Community Against Youth Violence will conduct a home visit to do an assessment on children within 72 hours who have violated curfew. Now, CBS4 Weather with meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. All right, good Tuesday morning. 81 in Miami, 77 Fort Lauderdale, 84 in Key West. We're dealing with some showers, especially in Broward County this morning. Keep the umbrellas handy. You can see the rain stretching across much of Broward along 95 Pompano Beach, Oakland Park, Fort Lauderdale, Lauderdale, Hill, Tamarack, Sunrise, as well as Davie. And we have a few showers here nearing Miami Beach and across Southern Dade County. Throughout the day remaining unsettled, a weak wave is enhancing the moisture and leading to those tropical showers that are moving in on the that breeze out of the east southeast 9 16 miles an hour tonight spotty storms possible warm humid 80 degrees as we head into your Wednesday still looking at a high chance of wet weather Thursday we'll see some drier air bring the rain chance down but then it goes right back up Friday into Saturday due to a stronger stronger tropical wave Maribel with that, thanks, and that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.